<laughs> this is nuts. One of the new seven wonders of the world. I touched. So today I will show you Taj Mahal. We will check if it's worth it going there. Good morning guys and welcome to Homeless Pelican Channel. It's 5 o'clock in the morning and look what's going on. Let's go to the railway station. Buying the train ticket wasn't easy. It took me two days. So I came here one hour earlier just in case. Because India is full of adventures. And before we start, leave a subscription, like and comment to support this channel. Let's go! The first day, me and my friend Raj, we tried to book the tickets online. He is Indian and you have to have some special number to create an account. He couldn't buy the tickets and we also tried to register me and we failed. The second day I went to the Delhi station to buy the tickets in person. It's so much paperwork you wouldn't believe. It took me few hours. I made a whole episode about how difficult it was, but unfortunately that video was without the sound. But for sure, buying a train ticket in India is not easy. To be honest, that was the most difficult ticket procedure in my life. Many people are actually sleeping here on the ground uh, or maybe just chilling. I'm trying to find my rail track. Not easy. Security check, like in the airport. By the way, it's going to be my first time riding an Indian train. First time in my life I cannot find my platform. I'm trying for 20 minutes and it's impossible. There is zero information. I'm super stressed. And it's getting super crowded. Oh my god. I don't know how, but we made it. So I asked some random person on the station to help me. There is like no information, the guy used application and we made it. If you want to see Taj Mahal, you need to reach to the city called Agra. Train from Delhi took two hours, going back will be three hours. Let's check out this city. Looking for a toilet, but all I can find is plenty of scammers. So this is the toilet in Agra station and you can also even find the shower here. So I'm exiting the Agra station and look what will happen. Namaste. I help you? No, 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 thank you, thank you. Ah, it's not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. So the best technique is to just start filming because they already know like I'm trying to expose them. And that's a good technique. In the mornings yeah. I'm bitter and like already 20 guys approached me. I wanted to sit, chill. It's not possible, you have to keep on moving. I slept two hours, better not to piss me off. No. <laughs> can you can you give me the give me the bath so I can this is nuts. This is nuts guys. You have to just run away from the station as soon as possible and try to find the motorcycle. You have to walk like 200 meters away from the station and it's getting a little bit more quiet. Give me space. Ayo, 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 ayo! Thank you, thank you. They were like fighting for me. Oh my God. 
So from the railway station to Taj Mahal, it shouldn't be more than 100 rupees. And before the exploration, cheers. I found the way to Taj Mahal through the park. And since the morning, this is the first quiet moment. Amazing. So for Indians the entrance is 50 rupee and for foreigners 1300. And I had to leave my backpack, my tripod. So we my, made it. This is the gate to Taj Mahal. It was pretty inconvenient. I had to go to locker room again. They didn't allow my backpack. Tripods are not allowed. Microphones either, but I smuggled one. Let's check out the Taj and then I will tell you all the interesting facts about this place. One of the new seven wonders of the world. This is my fourth wonder, free to go. This place was built by the Mughal Emperor Shao. He made this castle for his wife. So Emperor's wife died during giving a birth to their 14th child. That's pretty a lot comparing to our times. So after she passed away, he was very upset and he wanted to make some kind of monument to memorize her. And that construction took 22 years and it was made in 17th century. This vehicle and this gardener belongs to government of India. Taj Mahal. Oh, you don't know how hard is it to film an episode when you didn't sleep. So converting to our times money, this monument cost one billion dollar. And I don't know if that's true, but my Indian friends told me that the emperor's son got angry that, that he used so much money from like people's taxes that he put him into the jail where he had a small window and the only thing he could see was Taj Mahal. And they even have a fountain here. And very important thing, don't put your leg here. Taj Mahal is considered as the ultimate proof of eternal love. He loved the girl, you know? You know, everyone has this one girl. So behind Taj Mahal, you have this really nice river. I heard that it was dirty before, but now it's super clean. So, so they did a good job. Maybe that was a few years back and now it's all good in the hood. And the structure of every single piece is amazing. A lot of details and ooh, uh, echo. I will try, but it's hard, you know. And to enter the main thing, you need to have shoe cover. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, about to enter. Photos are not allowed. Ah, oh, the most beautiful places in India, you cannot take a picture of. That's illegal, guys. I'm committing a crime for you. It's just pretty empty in here. But, oh my God, it would be such a good skate spot. But, again, they took my board. And this white marble was imported from all around Asia. And many of you are wondering, is it possible to touch Mahal? I touched. And Taj Mahal means the palace of the crown. And since I touched Mahal, it's time to leave. Wow, it's the first time I see something free in India. I mean, it's not for free because I paid a lot of money for the entrance, so... 
I, so I went back to my hotel and I like passed out. I was sleeping for 10 hours straight. I was exhausted. I finished my trip earlier. I tried to buy the earlier train ticket back to Delhi. Of course, it was not possible. And I was more tired than like after 15 hours of physical work. So is it worth it going to Taj Mahal? In my opinion, not. The problem here in India is like, it's many nice places, but like going there, having this road, it's a struggle. After like doing 10% of the road, you are already exhausted and you don't want to go to that place. So unless you have a private driver who will like take you from the hotel, drive you exactly to Taj Mahal and protect you from all the beggars, all the scammers, I would say if you don't have one, it's not worth going. I have a trauma. So in my opinion, India is super inconvenient and I have enough. I decided to leave India earlier. Why is that? Check out the next episode where I will be explaining why I will never return to India. Thank you so much for today. Please leave a subscription, like and comment to support this channel and see you in next episode. Peace out.